If you're looking for ways to improve and further develop your intelligence, analytic and problem-solving skills are some of the most important and useful skills to have, not only in the workplace, but in everyday life too. These skill sets are certainly something we all wish we naturally possessed, because it can be difficult to teach yourself these skills. However, with enough training, your brain will learn to deconstruct problems and find the best possible solutions. Welcome to Brilliant Thinking. Intrigue your mind. Click that subscribe button before we get started and you'll never miss out on another amazing video. We're diving into the analytical mind, exploring just how our brain solves problems. Get your brains warmed up and ready and make sure you stick around for the problem solving quiz coming up soon. What exactly are analytical and problem solving skills? Problem solving skills help you identify and determine why a problem has arisen, then how to resolve the issue. Analytical skills, on the other hand, is the ability to deconstruct and analyze information into smaller categories and then draw conclusions. If this all sounds a little confusing, hold tight. We're going to break it down and show you how you can sharpen your skills. Let's be honest with ourselves here. The best way to improve any skill is to practice, practice, practice. But you can't improve if you don't continually challenge yourself. Analytical thinking is a complex skill set that consists of logical reasoning, critical thinking, communication, research, data analysis, and creativity. These are the combination of skills you need to put into practice. Otherwise, answering the problem will become difficult and you may not come to the correct conclusion. Six crucial steps needed when problem solving. There are six steps in the problem solving process that you need to know and implement when faced with a problem. Step one, clearly identify and define the problem. Step two, do your research and determine the root cause of the problem. Step three, generate multiple alternative solutions. Step four, select what appears to be the correct or best potential solution. Step five, implement the solution. And step six, evaluate the outcome. Okay, now that we've got an awareness of what's involved with both problem solving and analytical thinking, let's dive into a couple brain sharpening problems to get you thinking. Problems to sharpen your mind. Question one. Our first brain teaser is an adaptation of the old Knights and Knaves logic puzzle and is a very good warm-up question. You're a prisoner inside a dungeon, about to be sentenced for your crimes. Your cruel and unusual punishment involves choosing between two unmarked doors leading out of your cell. One of the doors leads to a full pardon, the other to certain execution. Each of these doors are guarded by a prison officer that knows what's behind the door he's guarding. One of the officers is a pathological liar, and no matter what you ask him, he'll always tell a lie. The other officer will always tell the truth, no matter what. The only problem is you don't know which one is which. You're allowed to ask one of the guards a single question before making your life or death decision. What do you ask to find out which door leads to your freedom? I hope everyone got this one right. To ensure your freedom, simply ask any guard which door the other guard would say leads to safety. No matter the answer, pick the opposite door and you're free. If it doesn't make sense, we'll break it down for you. If you've asked the lying guard which door the truthful guard would recommend, he'd lie and point you to the execution door. If you'd asked the truthful guy the same question, he'd be honest and tell you that the lying guy would lie, pointing you towards the execution door instead of the door to freedom. In this way, it doesn't matter who you ask. Just pick the opposite door and walk on out smiling. Question 2. Our next question will challenge your analytical and problem-solving skills while making you think creatively. You have two ropes that each take exactly an hour to burn all the way through. They don't always burn at the same speed along the different sections of the rope, but will always finish burning right on the hour. How can I measure exactly 45 minutes using only two ropes and a lighter? Light one of the ropes on fire at both ends while lighting only one end of the second rope. When the first rope burns out, exactly 30 minutes has elapsed and half of the second rope has already burned away. At this moment, light the other end of the second rope. These two flames will meet in exactly 15 minutes, giving you a total of 45 minutes. Question 3. Here's another question that will challenge and refine your problem-solving skills. A farmer needs to transport a fox, chicken, and a bag of corn to the other side of the river. He only has a small boat that can only carry him and one other with him per crossing. There's a problem though. The fox and the chicken can't be left alone 
as the fox will eat the chicken. Likewise, he can't leave the chicken with the corn because the chicken will eat the corn. How will the farmer get all of his things across the river? Let's see if you got this right. The farmer must first take the chicken across the river, leaving the fox and the corn alone together on the riverbank. They'll be safe there. Then the farmer goes back to get the fox. When he takes the fox across the river, he swaps the fox with the chicken and travels back to the riverbank with the corn. The farmer then swaps the chicken out for the corn and travels across the river again, leaving the fox and corn alone on the far side of the river. On the home stretch now, the farmer can head back, grab the chicken for the round trip without letting anything eat anything else. Question 4. Our final problem solving question again involves life or death. Your plane crashed in the middle of the Amazon and you're the only survivor. Lost in the jungle for days, you make the fatal mistake of eating a highly toxic mushroom. As you feel the poison slowly running through your body, you remember the antidote to this deadly toxin is secreted by a certain species of frog native to this forest. You can save yourself from certain death by licking one of these frogs. The only problem is only the female frogs of this species produce the antidote, and the only way to tell them apart from the males is that males croak and females don't. The poison's effect is getting stronger, and you can feel your vision start to blur as you try and scan the forest floor for frogs. Just in the nick of time, you see two frogs on a stump in front of you. As you move towards them, you hear a male frog's croak behind you. Two more frogs sit on a rock behind you, but you don't know which one croaked. As the poison overwhelms you, you realize you only have enough time to grab one of the frogs on the stump in front of you or the two on the rock behind you before you pass out. What do you do? You should grab the two frogs on the rock and lick them both. Grabbing and licking the frog on the stump will give you a 50% chance of survival based on pure probability. Knowing that at least one of the frogs on the rock behind you is male means that you have three different gender combination possibilities of frogs. Male-male, female-male, or male-female. Two of these possibilities include the life-saving female frog giving you two out of three, or 66.67% chance of survival. Naturally, these questions would have had you scratching your head, getting a pen and paper out, drawing diagrams, and maybe even feel like giving up. But the best way to improve upon both these skills is by practicing at least once a day. If you're up for the challenge, you can find similar questions online that you can practice with. And the more you practice, it will become progressively easier to answer tougher questions. Over time, your problem-solving and analytical skills will be sharp as a tack. And that's all we have time for on today's video. We hope you learned something. If you attempted any of these questions and got different answers, let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, and if you're not already subscribed, hit that red button and notification bell to be a part of the fun. Thanks for tuning in. You're watching Brilliant Thinking. Intrigue your mind. I'll see you next time.